field overlooking um, a wheat field, in fact, where there was a major crop circle at a place called Alton Barnes, very close to Stonehenge in England. There were eight of us, uh, scientists and engineers, some of whom are employed by the uh, US government here. And uh, what happened, uh, a great surprise, out of absolutely nowhere, uh, swooped a large uh, British military army helicopter. Uh, bristling with technology, as of course many of them of course are. Uh, but he came in very, very close to us. We had no idea what he was up to at the time. Uh, we thought maybe initially that he was taking photographs of the crop circles that were already there. But he came to within, I would estimate, 40 feet of our heads, and there was nothing short, I mean, it was nothing short of harassment. I think there was a major attempt to move us out of that area. These army helicopters were pushing us, attempting to push us out of the area. As we moved up the highway, as a public highway close to this field, they followed us behind the hedgerow. But then we stopped and uh, one of them moved away rapidly from us over the top of this large pattern and moved up to approach a small sphere of light pulsing. I would estimate it was probably 18 inches or so in diameter pulsing, uh, and the helicopter came right up to it. it. It couldn't possibly have missed seeing it, and in one frame of the film, has simply disappeared and is now behind the helicopter. The helicopter appears to uh, maneuver itself on its own axis to get a better view of this, because it's been now behind it. Um, it, it is obviously an assumption. If I were pushed hard on what I thought they were doing, I would be, I think, forced to say, that it seemed as if we were unwelcome. We had walked into uh, an area where they were already engaged in something in involving this very small ball of light, which we have not only been reported, had reported to us many times by people in that area. The cause of the mysterious corn circles, which appear every summer in southwest England, may finally have been uncovered. Two British artists told the Today newspa newspaper this morning that they created the circles which have baffled scientists around the world for 13 years. Explanations have varied from local weather conditions to mating hedgehogs to visitors from another planet. But the two men said this morning that they had been creating the circles using string and wooden boards. Experts are tonight divided over claims by two men from Hampshire that they're responsible for the South's famous crop circles. Dave Chorley and Doug Bauer say they created the strange patterns with nothing more than a wooden board and a length of rope. The men decided to reveal their hoax when they heard the government was planning to finance research into the circles. When they heard the government was planning to finance research into the circles. But some scientists remain convinced the circles are not man-made. This is a message from the throne room of the living God, Jehovah Elohim. I am the one who designed the entire universe. I am the one who spoke everything into existence. I am the one who created each of you too. Please humbly come into my presence to confirm these things I am speaking to you through my daughter Gwendolyn. She is my end times scribe and I have asked her to bring my words forth on the matter of the demon alien, Morse codes called, crop circles, or crop formations. My children, I had placed this mystery in my daughter's heart, approximately two months ago, and it is at this time that she is prepared to write for me on this subject. This subject does affect each and every one of my children upon this planet. I want each and every person on this planet to comprehend, what has been occurring over the past several decades, with regards to the re-emergence of the decorative designs, amidst the growing fields of my children. This is one of the most highly prized mysteries in my heavenlies, my children. It is my love and compassion for my children that prompts me to help you to understand the mysteries of the end times. It is the end of the church era, 
and it is time to turn over the serpent's proverbial rock. Understand that this message is a very sensitive one my children. It contains very important information that has been sealed off from the governments of the world for many decades. Hear the words of your Creator at this time. Ever since the beginning of time, there have been demon aliens, children. They have always traveled across the multiple galaxies and they have always searched for ways to make their hatred for their own Creator known. They detest and despise the one hand that created them and they also want to let the other species of my creation come to despise me and my son, also. They have traversed the galaxies far and wide conjuring up ways to expose what they believe are their own discoveries. They try to grandstand their knowledge and sell it to my children for favors. Actually, all the information that these demon aliens, reptilians contain is what their ancestors learned while they used to live in my heavenlies, while serving me. There is nothing new under the heavens, my children. Nothing. All of the DNA technology and all of the computer technology that they used to entice my children with are actually bits and pieces of the wisdom of my heavenlies. Remember children in my holy word that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. Remember also that all wisdom comes from the Creator. All of the knowledge that these demon aliens have been trying to sell, or entice your world governments with over the past 50 years actually comes from me. They have used it to gain favor with mankind to weasel their way onto your planet at the end of time, to incorporate the marking of my beloved children with the mark of the beast. It is their game plan, and has been all along. It is not a complicated discussion either, children. They have intense hatred and jealousy over my creation of mankind, and they have come to aid the old serpent Lucifer with destroying my precious children's souls. I have asked my daughter Gwendolyn to continue on her fruit and vegetable fasting, to receive a few more messages from me, before I usher her to Israel to begin working with my native children in Israel, in the days ahead. There are only a few more messages that I will deliver to her, and I wish for all of my children to read the many mysteries that I have delivered to her. These mysteries are specifically for the last generation of this era. These mysteries are for the tribulation saints who may not be able to make the wedding supper of the Lamb. This event is so very close now, my children, and I wish that all my children would seek to live in holiness and repentance before me and my son Yeshua. Study my word, children. Repent daily and more often if needed. Seek my face for all that pertains to your lives, and I will bring you home to my heavenlies very soon. There's a holy remnant that is upon this earth at this time. This holy remnant was chosen, since before the beginning of time to usher in the greatest harvest of souls ever known. My daughter Gwendolyn is one of these end times workers. Her brother Seiho is also. I have called them to walk side by side serving me in many capacities, and one of them is to help educate the other children of God, regarding the things that will help those who are remaining on this earth after the rapture of my bride. I have asked them to team up and use their talents to help prepare the lukewarm church for the greatest testing of their faith they have ever experienced in their lifetime. Please be thankful for their obedience, children. They spend many hours working for me in the business of their own lives. They sleep little and they sacrifice much for me and my son. They have both suffered much personal ridicule and persecution from their own families and friends. They are much like many of my other end times harvest workers. If you are working the harvest fields like them my children, your efforts will not go unnoticed by me or my son. You will be dining on the caviar of heaven very soon. Endure a little longer my end times workers. Just a little while longer. I love each and every one of you. The mystery of the crop circles is a very serious one, my children. The signs and designs upon the fields of wheat and barley, especially located in the United Kingdom are not pretend phenomenon at all dear children. 
These are very significant events in the end times plan of the enemy. These crop formations are actually messages sent from the demon aliens to the leaders of your planet. It is not at all easy for them to decipher them, but with the help of the reptilians, who are already stationed here, they work together to decipher them. If you were a biophysicist, or a molecular biologist, you would have the scientific wherewithal to understand the biochemical changes that occur on each blade of grass that has been affected by these crop circles. They are actually caused by spaceships that come into your atmosphere, not even needing to touch the ground to leave their Morse code, like images upon your land. The sorts of messages that they send have more to do with military strength of the arriving demon alien populations and how they will be distributed across the earth. The messages are very intricate, and can only be deciphered by a select few. Queen Elizabeth is one of the few persons who can decipher their galactic language, as she is the most primitive, living reptilian upon this earth. My children, these demon aliens have convinced the governments of your planet Earth that their intentions are pure that they are only here to help you solve the most serious of problems, such as other species of aliens that are also about to arrive on your planet. They have convinced the world's powers way back in the 1940s, that their resourcefulness is necessary for the planet's survival. Actually, their words are laced in pure deception as their main objective is to affix the mark of the beast upon my children. It is just that simple children. Do not be fooled by their tactics either. Understand that they may hold all the pseudo-intelligence, but the children of God have the secret weapon, the Word of God, which will make them melt. Learn the scriptures that pertain to spiritual warfare my children. Learn them and plaster them upon your hearts. I will help you to remember them if you ask me. I am a loving God and I want all of my children to escape all the things coming to this planet. Within each crop formation's message are coordinates that direct the children of God, where the next influx of demon aliens will land. If there are multiple circles within the crop circle message, it means that the landing place of the next invading ship will be near several bodies of water. The circles represent bodies of water and the straight lines resemble the structures in the vicinity, like an old antique map. My dear children, no matter what each crop circle's message is, the importance of them varies. The most important message for my children right now is to be ready for the things that are coming to this earth. So many things that have never happened during your existence, are about to unfold at record speed. Prepare your hearts my children. Prepare your hearts today. Come into my holy presence and seek me for all the wisdom that you may need to be able to negotiate through this difficult phase of mankind's rule upon this earth. Jehovah Elohim